hi guys welcome to my kitchen and my channel today i'm so excited to show you a quick madeline recipe we have our madeline pan here it's very simple recipe all you need is two cups of all-purpose flour with a tablespoon and a half of a baking powder half a cup of melted unsalted butter a zest of a lemon and a quarter teaspoon of salt with one cup of confectioner sugar with one cup of water plain cold water nice vanilla you need three eggs separated i'm telling you how simple how easy i am excited to make it so i can show you and it's better than the ones store-bought and they're fluffier they're not denser they're so light and airy and uh, we're just gonna use our whisk you can use a hand mixer i'm preheating my oven at 350 and we're gonna grease our our madeline pan here our shaped on madeline's so we turn around it looks like a little half shell and let's get started we're going to be starting by separating our eggs from um, egg whites and egg yolks so they're room temperature and we need to separate these and to get a nice and fluffy um uh, batter so we're going to be starting uh with just the eggs first and i can't not wait till we make these together and if you're new to this channel uh, welcome and i'm making madeleines which is french recipe with a little twist the easier my my version so we leave the egg whites and it's separate we're starting our egg yolks with half a cup of melted unsalted butter we start our liquids first to this we're gonna put one cup of water, cold water. They go so fast. And we're gonna put our vanilla. I have here vanilla, pure vanilla. So we're gonna put a tablespoon, nine tablespoons, a nice size tablespoon of vanilla. Even if you put uh, just a tiny bit extra, more vanilla, better it is. Gonna zest our lemon here and gives it a nice lemony flavor to our madelines. It smells good already. And these are very fast recipe. And there are so many other versions of uh, Madeline's which you can um, make it. But I'm looking for an easier recipe. Tell you, this is so delicious. You, it's like eating a fresh lemon to our. We leave our egg yolks separate. So with the egg whites, we're just gonna put or quarter teaspoon of salt in here and just keep whisking your egg whites till they're nice and frothy. So a little elbow grease, this is exercise. No time you will have a nice frothy egg. A different whisk we're using for this, so we're not using the same whisk as the uh, egg yolks. So we don't want too stiff, we just want a little fluffy. We don't want them stiff pink, so they're very light. Start adding our 
confectioner's sugar to our egg yolks. I'm gonna add our flour gradually. Just mix this and just fold it. Just fold it. We're gonna put our bacon powder to this. One and a half teaspoon. One tablespoon and half a teaspoon of um, bacon powder. Look at that rich, beautiful color. You could use a bigger bowl if you feel like that is too small. But then we're going to convert our mixture to our egg whites here. And in no time, you're going to have this wonderful dessert. Cookies, madelines, whatever you want to call them. Just fold them. Look at that. Look at that delicious batter. Now we're gonna put our egg yolks and we're just gonna fold them. As you can see, just nice and fluffy. Make sure you put all your batter here. Mm. Gonna almost eat it off the bowl. How it tastes, smells wonderful. Melted butter, brush all your Madeline shapes are going to be so buttery and so wonderful. Oh, and look at this, guys. Look, look how soft and how fluffy our batter is. This is what I'm talking about. We don't want dense Madeline's. So we're just gonna use a regular tablespoon. Make sure they're all one size. So make sure you don't fill them too much. Just shake, tap down any air bubbles. Off to the oven we go at 350 for 25. Guys, our Madeline's are done. This is how they look. They're buttery, soft, and in no time, 25 minutes, you just sprinkle them with powdered sugar, or you can um, put them half with chocolate. Look at that. Look at that buttery, soft metal lines. Not dense. Look at that. Just falls apart. And with that batter, you can make up to good 30 Madeline cookies with that same batter that I made before. So please, if you have any questions, you don't hesitate to ask. All you do is brush this off. We don't wanna scrape it with a metal object. We just wanna brush it off with the bristles and then butter them again and then Another batch.
This is how my French Madeleines look and taste. Wonderful. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.